Meanwhile, Trump appears to be backing away from some of his firmly held campaign themes, including putting his Democratic presidential rival Hillary Clinton in jail. On Tuesday, Trump met with reporters and editors from the New York Times, the newspaper he condemned during the campaign as dishonest and called a failing publication. He now says he respects and reads the Times. Trump hinted that he has no intention to call for further investigations into Clinton's use of a private email server when she was Secretary of State or the Clinton Foundation. Trump said, I don't want to hurt her, the Clintons, I really don't. She went through a lot and suffered greatly in many different ways. The campaign was vicious. Trump said investigating Clinton is not something he feels very strongly about. Speaking to reporters in the Trump Tower lobby Tuesday, former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani, a Trump supporter and possible cabinet member, said the decision reflects a common aspect of American politics. There's a tradition in American politics that after you win an election, you sort of put things behind you, and if that's the decision he reached, that's perfectly consistent with sort of a historical pattern of things come up, you say a lot of things, even some bad things might happen, and then you can sort of put it behind you in order to unite the nation. During the campaign, Trump regularly referred to Clinton as crooked Hillary. He stood by contentedly at rallies and listened to crowds shout, lock her up. He had promised to have a special prosecutor to look into her case and even directly threatened her with jail during one of the presidential debates. Trump also told the Times that clean air is vitally important and he thinks there is some connectivity between climate change and human activity. He once called global warming a Chinese created hoax, but he is now backing down from his threat to pull out the U.S. from the Paris Climate Change Agreement. Trump assumes power January 20th as Obama leaves office.